In this uh, teaching video, it's going to be uh, fairly short. Um, all I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you how to get from a decimal to a fraction. Decimal to a fraction. And the key here is saying it. All you got to do is say it. Say it aloud. You'll hear something and you'll get it. Okay? So, 0.72, this would be, there's your tenths, there's your hundredths. So, forget about the decimal, you just say the number, and then whatever place value this is. And because this is the hundredths, you say 72 hundredths. So, 72 hundreds. That's all you do. You just say it. 72 hundreds. 72 hundreds. Now, if I get, need to get this to the simplest form, of course, so I'm going to divide this by 2, divide this by 2, that's 36 over 50. I can divide these in two again. That gets me 18.25. So 18.25. Okay. You just say it and write it. Now this one. 0.50. This is a 50, and this place value is hundreds. So it's 50 hundreds. 50 hundreds. I can divide each of those by 10. That gives me 5 over 10. I can divide those by 5. That gives me 1 half. 1 half. Okay, this next one, 0 0.875, 875. So this is 875, 875. What's this place value? Well, this is the t tenths, hundreds, thousandths. 875 thousandths. There you go. Now you just got to simplify. Um, I'm going to see if 25 can go into that. 875 divided by 25. Oh, yeah. I thought a big, big number could go into that. So that's 35 over 1,000 divided by 25 equals 40. Oh, I think I can get 5 out of here. Divided by 5, divided by 5. That gets me 7. Eights. Seven eights. Okay. The hardest part probably about this is the simplifying. Let's do another one. We have 0.75. We see that it's 75 over this is tenths hundredths. 75 hundredths. I'm going to divide this by 5 and divide this by 5. That gets me, what is that, 15 over 20. Divide that by 5, divide that by 5. That gets me 3 over 4. 3 fourths. Yay. All right, now let's do 1.75. Now this whole number is a whole number. So it's gonna be one, and this is your fraction. This is your part of a whole. So you're at 75, and this is the tenths, this is the hundredths, 75 hundredths. Now, remember this was 75 hundredths too? And we were able to reduce it down to three-fourths. So this is one and three-fourths. All right, 
one last problem. This one is 6.875. So we have six is a whole number. And then this part is my fraction. So I write this number down, 875, and then I gotta get place value. Tenths, hundredths, thousandths. Six and eighty, six and eight hundred seventy-five thousandths. So then I simplify this, which I did over here, to seven eighths. So it's six and seven eighths. All right, so hopefully that gives you a method on how to go from a decimal to a fraction. The key is saying it and knowing your place value, knowing your place value. Um, okay, so I think with the video so far, I taught you how to go from a uh, fraction to a decimal. This was a decimal to a fraction. I've done decimal to a percent, percent to decimal. Um, now we just need to go from here to here and here to here, which I will do in the next video.